Hello everybody. In this example, I'll just be running through the Zetagrid managed and also self-managed firewall product, which is called the Viata firewall. And now in this tutorial, I'll just be running over the default config that is deployed by Zetagrid and what it all means and uh, how you can modify it. So first of all, log on to the Zetagrid.com My Account page and retrieve the IP address information as well as the username and password for the firewall once it's been provisioned. Just open up your SSH client. I just generally use PuTTY. in your IP address as well as the login details. And once that's done, we'll just get to the logon prompt here. And first of all, I'll just go into configure mode. This is similar to configure terminal on a Cisco device. It just allows you to edit the config, but also allows you to show the config as well. So we'll just do a show readout. And as you can see here, this gives you a brief rundown of what is configured on the firewall. So first of all, you'll see here that the um, firewall rules uh, the first line in the, in the config, and there's an allow all rule here, which I'll go over in a bit more detail. There's also an inside to self rule. Uh, this is specifying that traffic from the inside to the self, and the self being the Viata, is uh, allowed all protocols, and this is for established and related connections. And you can also see here that port 22 is allowed, which is for SSH and also port 53, which is um, DNS. You can see some ICMP rules here as well, allowing ping through. We've also got an outside to inside rule. So this is the outside being the internet zone, going to the inside, or the inside LAN. And you can see here they've got established and related connections enabled there as well. And this is similar to the outside to self rule. So from the internet to the self, which is the actual Viata firewall, you can see you've got established and related connections as well as port 22 being allowed, which is SSH. So that's how we managed to get to SSH access on the outside initially when just logging in with PuTTY. There's also ICMP rules as well, which is just allowing ping from the internet to the Viata. You can see here, this begins uh, the interface configuration. So there's ETH0, which is a DHCP address by default. That can be changed to a static address, but uh, generally DHCP will be fine and ETH1, which is your inside adapter, and that's just got a default address of 192.168.1.1, the 24-bit mask, and uh, that can be modified as required. So this is the NAT configuration. Um, initially, the NAT configuration on the firewall is just for outbound traffic, so this is saying that traffic with a source address of the inside LAN subnet is being allowed out via a masquerade NAT, so that's just allowing internet usage from the IPs um, out of this subnet. You can see here there's DHCP configured by default as well and you can choose to delete that if you'd like. It's just got some DNS forwarding information, the SSH, SSH port and also the protocol version. And here you've got your login information as well. You can see here the VPS user 1170 which is what we use to log in and also the encrypted password and the level which is an admin account. There's also a default ZG admin account as well here which can be removed if you choose to. A bit further down, this is just the packaging information, a bit of syslog information, the time zone. This is the zone policy information. So this is a zone-based firewall by default. So you'll see that each interface is in its own zone and there's particular rules applied to that zone. So you can see here, this is the inside zone. And you can see here by the description as well, it's the internal zone. And the firewall rules that apply to this zone are the outside to inside rule and also the allow all rule. So the outside to inside rule, that's coming from the outside going to the inside. So you can see how that's defined. And this is coming from the self, which is the Viata, to the inside. And that's allowing all traffic. So that's what the allow all rule was for before. You can see that's interface ETH1 there as well. So... Yeah, for ETH0, there's a zone outside. So you can see here that traffic going from the inside going to the outside, all traffic is allowed. And from the self going to the outside, all traffic is allowed as well. And that's going, that's on ETH0, which is obviously the outside internet zone. And from the self, you can see here that um, traffic going from the inside to the self is the inside to self file rule. And the from the outside to the self is the outside to self rule. So that's what uh, rules are applied for that zone. And that zone there is defined as a local zone. So that's not actually a defined inf interface. It's just referring to the Viata itself. 
So that's the basic rundown of the config as it's deployed by Zetagrid. In a later tutorial, I'll be going over how to modify the config and also add your own rules and also some that. So please stay tuned if you'd like to find that out.